you know, people can come into data science from a lot of different ways. I think that coming from a programming background like yours can be the most valuable in today's um, job climate. And it sounds like you even, you run into lots of scenarios as a PhD student where people value you hugely because of that programming background. In physics, definitely. There's a lot of that, uh, what we call science science coding, where there are people who have come up through the sciences and at a certain point in their degree, they've or in their career or in academia, all of a sudden it's like, now you need to write your own models. And they're like, well, crap, I've never written a program in my life. And they quickly learn Python and they write these like single scripts that have no documentation, no command line arguments. They comment out bits of code to get different command flow. Uh, and it's really monstrous for the repeatability of science. But at the same time, I appreciate that, like, if that's what gets it done, like, not everyone has time to be amazing open source maintainers who makes a whole project out of every little script they make. So, like, at a certain point, you just need to get it done. And if that's what makes research happen, that's fine. And the same thing, like, I really appreciate the skills that learning computer science has given me. And I love my programming background. I love it deeply. But at the same time, I also don't necessarily agree that it's objectively the best way. Like data scientists <laughs> of all kinds, I can tell you that like the programmers I know care not at all about statistics. And every time they have to do something data-y, they just pick, pick the first approach they find in Google for whatever keywords they got. And right. so like in some ways that people who have come from like a more statistics background, or even nowadays you can study specifically data science, they are going to have different skill sets and both is good. And you can always teach yourself the other thing. I think it's slightly easier for you to teach yourself programming when you're surrounded by programmers than it is for you to teach yourself a deep understanding of math. So if you have to study one at university, maybe pick the one that you're going to learn more from other people than just by trying yourself. So Cool. Well, that Everyone was a good of all kinds. Coming from. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of space for all different kinds of data scientists out there. Um, surely, however, we can agree that regardless, developing both of these things then would be wonderful. Yeah. So whether you, whatever background you came from, it could be completely different from programming or statistics um, or math. Uh, people come into data science from all kinds of places and you can become hugely valuable by learning software development skills, programming skills, as well as, uh, yeah, these mathematical things, statistical things, linear algebra, calculus, probability theory, statistical inference, um, all, all useful. And in your decades long data science career listener, you might as well have some fun rounding them all out. Um, and yeah, becoming a full stack data scientist as I've called them before on air. Cool. The thing that remains consistent is like the curiosity. People get into data science because they want to answer questions. And sometimes I see data scientists that have come from like policy backgrounds and stuff because they just they want to know how something works. Like you often get people who have come to data science from like sociology because they just they want to observe these different phenomena. And I, th I think it's fantastic. That's one of the things I love about data science as a field. It's, it's just the only thing that unites us is like curiosity and Python. <laughs>